Hi, this is Time and Talk. So today I thought I'd make a video about the new Tag Heuer Solograph. Obviously, solar powered watches have existed for a long time, and we've got things like um, the Citizen Eco Drive. More recently, they've been uh, encroaching on the luxury kind of market in watchmaking. So obviously, we have the Cartier Tank Must Solar Beat. And now the latest is the Tag Heuer Solograph. So basically, um, it appears to be an Aqua Racer. And um, I'll put a picture up on the screen. It's an Aqua Racer with a solar powered movement. Um, I think Tag is really good at this sort of stuff because obviously, you know, Tag have a smartwatch and Tag. Tag are a bit more modern than some of the other companies and they're willing to mix things up a little bit more. Um, so it maybe suits them a little bit. So in the last few days, I'm just reading on my phone here, it has come out, it's a 40 millimeter and it's titanium, which actually I didn't know until reading this article, which is, which is amazing. I love titanium watches, they're brilliant and they are, um, they're really light and comfortable and I have got a Citizen, um, titanium watch and actually, um, the the movement is actually made in collaboration with citizen so it will never need never need a battery change um um the dial is slightly transparent apparently which allows the the light to pass through um basically my thoughts are that it's cool it's cool isn't it the the idea of getting a um a titanium watch in particular with a solar powered movement. It's about two and a half thousand. Um, the only thing is, the only thing I would worry about is, I tend to think of luxury watches as, as being mechanical because you can literally keep them forever. You, you know, you can, you can service it and service it and service it. Is that going to be the same with a solar powered movement? Um, you know, they say that, um, it will never need a battery change. But I mean, hit, hit me in the comments. Have you had, have you had to have a, a solar powered watch batteries changed? You know, because um, I know people that have got citizens, um, citizen eco drives and they last a long time, but they don't last forever. Um so so that is a concern in, in in my opinion especially since you know um especially since it's two and a half thousand you know it's it's not by any means a, a cheap watch um the specs look great um you know it's got um two different colors i think it's different colors um of loom it's grade two titanium it's got a, a solar powered movement. Um, it's it's not limited edition or anything like that. Um, it will run on six on on a full charge for six months with no light exposure. Um, it's not chronometer certified, but would we expect it to be? Maybe for two and a half thousand actually. But um, my only concern, I really like the Aqua Racer. I think it's a great watch. Um, I actually prefer the slightly older ones, the ones with the Cyclops on the dial, um, to this particular model in terms of its looks. Um, but I really like the Aqua Racer. It's a great watch. I quite like Targ. I like the fact that they're they're you know willing to push the envelope a little bit in terms of things like solar powered watches. But will it last forever? And when I'm paying thousands of pounds for a watch, I do want it to last forever. I want it to be able to be passed on to my son and uh, and things like that. So yeah, tell me what you think um, of the the new tag Aqua Racer Solograph. And thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.